In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving Poisson's probability distribution with Casio FS. Now, our ES class we calculated in seconds for multiple choice questions. After going through this video, we'll be able to solve problems involving Poisson's probability distribution with the Casio calculator in seconds for multiple choice questions. So, ensure you stay with me till the end of this video. You're going to win a lot, guys. So, having known that, before we get a Casio calculator and going into the details of this video, Let's quickly look at the question I have here we are going to solve together. So the question says, a lab technologist was required to examine the quantity of red blood cells using a fixed volume of blood sample. It is known that some fixed volume contain four red blood cells. What is the probability that a specimen from an individual will contain I, no red blood cell, II, one red blood cell, III, two red blood cells, IV? At least three red blood cells, B, at most three red blood cells, and VI, one or two red blood cells. Okay, guys, these are very simple questions you can solve with a cash calculator. Let's go ahead and bring it and go into the details of this video. Okay, this is Cassio FS, otherwise, ES class with calculator. Now, guys, the very first thing you have to do is to clear your calculator. The very important the essence of doing it is to put your calculator in default mode. To remove whatever previous value, whatever previous mode you might have placed the calculator on. So to do that, for those of you that don't know how to do it, simply press shift button 9, press instruction, once you initialize all, press 3, then press record and press record again. So it's not clear, it's not in default mode. So the next thing you have to do now is to put your calculator in a mode. Uh, enable all service problems will have here, of which you press menu to select the mode. You're going to go for distribution, which is option 7. So once you press the process, it will bring you to this very place. Now, you go downward with this downward button. Now, if you get here, you see poison PD and poison wall CD. Now, I will show you how the, the one you use poison PD and the one you also use poison CD for. Okay, just like for question I, 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 and VI, we use poison PD to solve then we ask for a question, I, B, and B, we use poison CD. Basically, what we use poison CD, that's poison cumulative distribution, for is, is to solve questions involving at least an at most, particularly, whereas poison PD, that probability distribution is for the ones that don't involve at least an at most, basically. So let's begin with poison PD, press 2. So, when you press it to bring it to the place, list of variables. Let's begin with the variable, but I will still explain list for those of you that don't know what the list stands for. Let us begin with the variable. Now, when you press variable to bring it to the right place, you have to input your S value and your lambda. Now, your S value, very important, is usually a positive integer. Just like, okay, in this question now, we have respective S values. We have S value in this. I, your S value is 0, in this I, I, your S value is 1, in this I, I, your S value is 2, I, your S value is 3, V, S value is 3, and in that order. Now, I mean, known this, let's begin with, see what is up with some I, 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 and what I, V, and V, I, respectively, rather with pricing PD. So let's begin with question I, where our S value is 0. They say no red blood cell, there is 0, press record 2. Now, our lambda is 4. Our lambda is 4. You say that some fees volume contain 4 red blood cells. So, our lambda in this question is what is 4. Very important, guys. You being able to identify these respective values a good long way to help you or make you get the right answer results. When you misplace them, you will end up having the wrong value as answer or result. So, it's very important, guys, that you get the values right. So having known this, let's press the button and get the what are we have to find? They say what is the probability? Okay, they let's go ahead and find the probability of the specimen from an individual with no red blood cell. Okay, let me the calculator. They are press the quality. So when there are no red blood cell, have it to be 0 0.018 this value and the rest of them. Now, what I when there is one red blood cell, simple, press this AC button, remove this zero and push what? One, press record two, press record again. So, this is the value for when there is one red blood cell. 
Okay, what are when there is two web loss cell? Okay, press AC button. Press simple, remove one and put two guys. As simple as that. So, this is when there is two web loss cell. Okay, what of this VI one or two web loss cell? Just the specific for my individual content, two or one or two web loss, very simple, guys. So all you have to do is now nah, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Remember, in probability, when you hear the word or or stands for addition. But before you solve this, let me quickly show you this very important guy. Let me show you before so come and solve this VI. So let's to all you have to do is to press menu, come and press seven again, then go this down button. Go back to option two, pressing PD, and this one press list. Now, what this list does is to help you to get the values once instead of you to do them individually or separately, just input the respective values for x. We have when x is zero, when x is one, when x is two. See, that's all, yeah. And then we are having when x is three, you would have put three, but since that is no three value for x just stop at two then once you are done in quickly you go ahead and press report two then put the lambda lambda is still four is correct there yeah, press report two now so to give the respective probability when x is zero x is one when x is two so if you want to do it individually you can just use the list option and do it once that's what the list solves there but having done this let's go back to this question we are when one or two now was explain something that in probability when you see the word or it stands for addition and what it means that you should add the probability of when there are one web loss cell and the probability when there are two web loss cell which is a very simple thing to do so the guy let's go back to let's go back to the variable we used very, very simple guys press two the variable remember now, when the probability is one, what did we what did we get? Sorry, probability is two. So now twenty one. Let's do this. Put one here. Okay, we have it to be this value. So it's this value as let's say let's start it as a to store. You press shift. So you don't press shift. Sorry, guys. Press just store this button. Store and uh, this a press button. So start a. Now let's go back. Uh, when the probability is what? Two that when there is two web loss cell, okay. Then we want to have it to be this when two web loss cell probability is what this value store this value as what B press store and this B. So, guys, having done this, let's go back and go out entirely. Now, to go entirely, you can press once so that's. No, you don't, don't need to come if you can enough values restored, you will go out. So, you just press one, it will bring you to this fresh page or fresh place. And all you have to do now is to bring out the B and A stored. So, they bring out to bring them out and the press alpha A to come out plus we have alpha B. So, that's it. Press report two. So, that addition of when the value of one is one red loss and one is one is one two red loss cells as simple as that guys so having done this let's go ahead and, and get look for when at at least and at most and we, we teach we call it a class so let's go go back to menu and distribution seven and this time i want go down world you pointing c to not pointing what pd so you press three okay guys work with two that variable now nah. Before we go ahead and solve this, if I need your channel, this, this is a ghost class. Be sure you hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Also, like this video, guys. Give this video a thumbs up to help that go in on this video. All we do are basically in the ghost class to help you understand, like, give you tips and other necessary information that help to simplify your academic problems. So, if you saw tips and information interest you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button now and give this video a thumbs up for more videos like this. Okay, I've been done this. I'll done that but that let's go ahead and solve this problem at least now i want to take note of something very important in probability 
like this. When you have the word at least, for instance, we would have put three here. But when you put three and put the value of lambda and press record, you get the wrong value. Now, whenever you they use at least in probability, when you get here the s value, you decrease it by one. This is a put the z value in the place you have to find. Like here, I say at least three level of cells. So you are putting this three here, we decrease this three by one. You are putting three now, put one two. That's three minus one is one two. Decrease it by one. You are putting three, put one two. That's simple as that, guys. Now go ahead and press equals in the lambda is still one four. C4, I press record to. Okay, so this is the value. Now, for you to get a final result for this IB at least three plus cells, you need to subtract it out from one. Very, very simple, guys. So let's press AC button. Let's press one, option one, to so move the entire from here. And one minus answer. So this will be the final result for at least as simple as that, guys. So don't forget, by the time you scroll bits and get the results, you come and subtract it from one to get the final answer for at least. Now, let's, how do you solve at most? Very simple, guys. Go back to this menu, option seven. Okay. Probability, pricing, CD, cognitive, distribution, first three. Now, you still use variable. Now, for at most, you don't need to decrease or increase the number. Just work with the exact value we have there. Like here, we have at most three red blood cells, so we'll work with three. And press record to our lambda is two or four. Very simple, guys. Now, press record to get your answer results. So this is the answer for at most three red blood cells. It's as simple as that, guys. So, I hope you learned something interesting. With this, I'll come to the end of this class. If you need to turn around more, and you know you subscribe and share the subscribe button now for more videos like this so give this video a thumbs up like this video share and comment on this video to tell me how you feel regarding what you have learned in this class if you seem to have any specific questions to ask feel free to be a question at the comment section below and i'll be sure to give you a response don't forget to click like later once you are done to clear simply press shift button now for the instruction when you initialize or press three press record and press record again so we are good to go guys Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.